We've been in Haiti four years now, since a little bit after the earthquake, and we've really gotten to know the country, and we see a huge opportunity. So what we're trying to do now is help the businesses that are growing in this country to employ Haitians, to allow them to achieve their own destiny. My wife and a partner of hers, they started manufacturing hair ties, hair bracelets, and other clay bracelets. And as you can see, we've got a backup generator that's been running for like two years now, and it's just hard on the pocketbook. Social enterprises like this, I think, are very important because in this one very small space, they employ over 40 Haitians. And, you know, 40 Haitians, 40 families, there's a big ripple effect. In addition to the Haitian workforce that they've employed, they use a portion of the profit to subsidize clean water projects in Cité Soleil. Our work on that roof will help offset some of the costs that they have and in turn go into more clean water. You guys are doing amazing work. <laughs> Bravo. What we're trying to do with social enterprise is building capacity. We want partners that are working with the community, that are creating jobs, that are stimulating the economy so that we can help them grow. We're an orphanage. We're a home for special needs children. We're a school. On a given day, you have about 800 kids on the property. For many years, we didn't have electricity. Maybe you'd have two hours of city power at nighttime. We went through everything. We went through candles, we went through kerosene lamps, and then we were relying on generators. We're installing a 20 kilowatt solar project. The system will be able to provide about 24 hours worth of consistent power without having to rely on the electric utility or a generator. We knew that there were a ton of trees up here, and trees are precious in Haiti, but that's a problem for solar. We had actually originally proposed on that side of the roof. When we came here in the afternoon, that was completely in shadow. And so we decided to put it right here. And you can see that we can uh, fit about 64 panels on this side, and it's all in sun. We work with a local Haitian team because part of what we're trying to do here is job creation and knowledge sharing. It gives us an opportunity to help train them on some of the logistics and some of the staging, and they get to really help us out with the procurement and how local projects are done. It's one ginormous team of technical people, volunteers, and the Haitian technical team. If we can provide them with solar power and reduce the amount that they have to buy in terms of oil to run their generators, then they can put more resources towards educating and feeding and training the children. The school will be able to run consistently, so you're not running out of diesel and then running out of light, and then everybody frustrated. So it's wonderful. I wish we could have everything solar panel, it would be great, you know?